I was speaking earlier about this photograph, this image from the 1930s of state forest policy of Sitka spruce being planted in straight lines and it's juxtaposed against the background of uh, Irish oak woodland which the state turned its back on in favour of, as I said before, this uh, English model from 1904 um, Forestry Commission which was set up at the time in Ireland to reforest Ireland and we, we continue with this policy it's never been changed um, it, it's become more mechanised if anything and there's been less uh, man management come into it. We've come in here to a Quilcha clearfelling operation where a new road has been put in, you can see here, uh, where the soil has been badly damaged by the clearfelling operation. You can see in the background, soil, the living part of soil is only in the top three inches. And when soil gets compacted and compressed, it's very difficult um, for the life for life to be regenerated in that soil. Um, again, you see this timber is, looks like, again, it's been cut for um, possibly pension funds, banks, to cash in on the demand at the moment, world demand for commodities. Uh, the price of timber, metals, water um, has gone, you know, sky high. And there's serious harvesting going on. So this is one area that's, um, yeah, it's been cashed in. And we're going to just one, walk further up to look at more soil compaction. And we've also noticed oil from the machines leaching into the uh, stream, which again will go down and, you know, further into the valley and end up in the groundwater. Um, we're going to walk further up, as I say, along this uh, road and uh, just look at more, more of the clear fell. Um, under Quilch's FSC Eco Label certification, these trees are meant to be left standing and to be avoided in the clear fell. But unfortunately, the economics of clear felling is not allowing that, and these hardwoods have been taken out with a view to being sold. You can see the slick. If anybody might try to say that this is, is not oil, we're looking at it as black as coal. And we can see the slick effect here very clearly. Another problem with the state plantation forestry at the time was it planted into a lot of farms. This looks like it was a field system and you look what we can see just along here is the field boundary and it's possibly a pre-famine wall, very ancient uh, field boundary. It's been exposed now from, with the clear felling and we've been told by a local that um, there used to be 40 houses in here. This was a there was a village in this area. And that the houses, there's only two of them left. And the rest of them have been demolished and actually formed the basis of other forest roads. So there's not only ecological damage, you've got natural heritage damage and damage to the culture, um, which is a byproduct of mass planting of Sitka spruce and other conifers, and then the clear felling. You can see we've had a machine that they've bulldozed through this, um, through the pre-famine wall here. And you can be sure there was no archaeologist on site and nobody noticing that the, this is, has any value. The problem with the erasing of, of all of this is it diminishes the local culture, it diminishes the local community. And I should say, I suppose that we're in the, in the uh, flag mount area of East Clare, overlooking uh, Loch, Loch Graney. And again, this is a, an area of uh, historical significance. And it's very sad to see, it's, it's actually, it's unacceptable that the cultural heritage can be um, dismissed in such a way. And it is unacceptable that this kind of damage can happen to the soil and that pools of oil can be left um, and that this operation can be called sustainable. Bearing in mind Quilcha have an FSC eco label claiming that they operate in a sustainable manner, balancing the economic, social and environmental um, aspects of their management.